All right, all right. I think everything's done and ready to go. I was able to separate the desktop audio and the Dragon Pets audio. Um, it was really bugging me before that I couldn't. And yeah, but I think I figured it out. It seems to be working. Fingers crossed and all that. But uh, <laughs> if you guys interact with with uh, Bo, you should still be able to hear. Oh shit, there's one more though. I need to fix. I need to do stream stickers as well. Because if anybody buys stickers, I want them to be heard. Because they make sound effects and things too. Uh, so that should fix it, I think. Or have it just on... Uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting there. Um, <laughs> just fixing all this stupid audio stuff. I have so many audio sources now from all of the plugins and things that I have running. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Um, capture card? That one shouldn't even exist, but whatever. Go on. Go on over there. Okay, so that's all desktop audio stuff. Uh... Pa, 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 pa. I think we're good. I sadly I don't know if I have a way of testing. No, I should. Hold on. Go to my own channel. I want to make sure the stickers are working. Do I have a way of testing that easily? Stream stickers. Uh. There we go. Yep. Okay. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Just making sure. I wanted to make sure that, that, that they would work. Um, okay. That'll go away in a moment. Anyways, alright. Let's actually get started, shall we? Metal Gear Solid 2, my guys. And my mic's flying away from me. Hopefully, I mean, not that I want the game to end, but I think this is going to be the last day of MGS2. I'm, I think this is going to be the finale. We were told that we're nearing the end and we have a few uh, hours to do it, so fingers crossed, man, we'll make it and uh, not get stuck on the final boss for like 16 hours like we did last time. Uh, 16's an exaggeration, but we were on it for a while, dude. Like, it, it was tough, to say the least. We had, a, uh, we had a rough time with it, that's for sure. Where did we actually leave off last time? Oh, apparently with, with Naked Raiden. That's where we left off last time. Okay. I vaguely remember now. Uh, we were strapped to the, that thing, and I don't think we got the torture like we did in Metal Gear Solid One. In Metal Gear Solid One, we were strapped to one of them and kind of got uh, kind of got tortured a fair bit. It wasn't wasn't too nice, man. Can we go in this door? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Where can we go? We can go that way. Is there anything in here? Excuse me while I remember how to interact with things. <laughs> we got some medicine. What do we need medicine for? What's that do? It's cold medicine. Are we... Are we gonna catch a cold? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen just regular, like, cold medicine in the game before. That's new to me. Uh, okay. I'm waiting for, like, people to show up and us to get fucked. We can get a map at least. That'll help us out a lot. Having the radar available so we can see where people are at potentially. But where is our stuff? I think they told us last time, but I don't I don't remember though. <laughs> Arsenal gear Jajinum. Oh good. There's people now. Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your m mission. I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role... 
That is, mission is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? That I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Complete your mission according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. Anyone else find it awfully suspicious how his voice kept changing there? Getting a little a little robotic like. I'm feeling more and more like this is all this is all fake, dude. Like either we're in a simulation right now or something. Something's going on that's not uh right. not kosher. Turn the game console off right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power right now. What's wrong with you? Don't worry. It's a game. It's a game just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. Uh, what? Are you talking what? About? <laughs> Brighton, something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I was home. What do you think happened to me? Huh? Fine. Forget it. What? <laughs> I'm so confused, dude. Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. I mean, should we turn the game console off? Uh. You're going to be in and out because you have three kids right now. Send help. <laughs> I wish you luck, man. The return of Ginola. This is some trippy ass shit, dude. I also can't help but notice when they walk around, there's like symbols underneath the enemy's feet. When the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I do, uh, what? <laughs> do you want to repeat that again there, Colonel? Your mission is to infiltrate the Fortress Galloway, rescue the hostages, and neutralize Metal Gear before its assembly is complete. What is going on, my guy? Honestly, though, you have played the game for a long time. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's taken us weeks to get this far. Okay, they're ninjas. Actually, there is something I've been meaning to tell you, but I just couldn't. I think you should know, though. On Saturday morning last week, I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should I put it? It was like they were intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but... But... But what? Oh god, we're gonna end up dying. Because <laughs> I got spot. I didn't notice the camera. The enemy fortress. Outer heaven. Hey, look, it's the original Metal Gear. The final weapon. Metal Gear. Ow. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. <laughs> we're gonna try that again. No, I'm still very confused. Jack, you have to answer me. Jack, Jack! I'm kind of thinking this might really not be happening, my guy.
Honestly, though. Where, where do we actually need to go? Actually, there is something I have been meaning. Okay, yeah, we we got that message already. That box should come in handy, so I'm still gonna run over here. Just gotta not get caught by the camera this time, maybe. Should we take the medicine? No use. Okay, where was that camera? It's right here. President Baker should be somewhere to the south of where you blasted through the wall. Hurry and save him before the terrorists discover his code. What? <laughs> I think you're getting your games mixed up there, Colonel. What? <laughs> Why did you just list off a bunch of names? Huh? What was that just now? Oh God, he's gonna end up kicking over the box. We're so screwed. We got caught again. I suck at stealth. Clematis plants juice can cause a rash. When pruning them, it's a good idea to wear gloves. Colonel's face is starting to look a little weird there. I tried to answer the phone. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I was a North American fall webware in my past life. Oh, those were the good old days. What were you in your former life? Is the current okay? <laughs> see, see, having a stroke right about now. I'm a little concerned for him, man. I'm not gonna lie. Ascending colon. Actually, I'm in really bad shape financially. I pay money to my ex-wife as part of our divorce settlement, among other bills. I just had no choice but to make you pay for lunch the other day. I'm really sorry. His face is getting a little messed up there too, my guy. He's looking a little like, uh, what's his name from G.I. Joe? The Red Even Skull dude? patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Okay, we got a ration. That's nice. You got a PSG-1? You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Uh... What? <laughs> what's, what's with our radar up in the corner, dude? <laughs> I'm very concerned right now. Variety level 13. Rescue Meryl. The return of Ginola. Okay, well, our radar is back to normal. I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61. I would have loved to have been in the, uh, the, the voice acting booth whenever they were Jack, <laughs> doing this, the recording me. studio. Hi, Rose. Jack, I owe you an apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, it wasn't a coincidence. I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. You're a spy? I suppose, yes. It's an ugly word. Are you still there? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. 
How could anyone? I can't excuse what I did. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things I didn't tell anyone. Oh. Like what I felt for you. So that's why you were involved in this mission. I should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. They're not even real. You must have gone over my psych profile with a fine-tooth comb. It was my job. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. What I really wanted was for you to see the real me. It hurt to play out this, this artificial romance. It was worse to lie to myself than to you. The more love you gave me, the more it hurt. Because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end too. It was just a game, not the real thing. Oh, Jack. I feel better knowing that. What? I was in love, or thought I was, with someone who didn't exist. I was trying to be someone I wasn't by loving what wasn't real. I don't know who you really are. The person I knew isn't real. She's not the woman I'm talking to right now. In a sense, the deception was my own, not theirs. Jack, I thought I was acting because that was my job. But I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an act. You expect me to believe that? Ugh. It's okay. You had your reasons, right? Hey, I understand, but I have nothing left to- Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. Rose! What's going on? The Are they trying to break him? Is <laughs> <laughs> Was the rest of the game Please, fake? Is this part fake? Like I'm so confused. Snake. Been waiting long. <laughs> Where's my gear? Right over there. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. <sighs> Not happy about that? Get over it. <laughs> Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on that. So... It was rigged by the Patriots? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? 25, according to Olga. Oh, good. 25. Just 25. Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. No way Not we sure can. How I feel about we can, that. because we have no other choice. How? I've stocked up on Stinger missiles. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. Do I get some goodies? Ah, his sword. Why? Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Move the right analog stick up and down to make a vertical slice, and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Nice, Push it nice. Forward to lunge and strike. You can guard with your blade if you have the L1 button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. Just one or two, though? Wait, are we supposed to... 
Are we supposed to fight Snake? What are you thinking? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I guess not. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, do we have anything in here that shouldn't be in here? Because that's something the game likes to do sometimes, or at least the series likes to do sometimes. Hard disk, duh, 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 rations. Where'd my cold medicine go? I was gonna take that. I'm sneezing. So we can't use anything but the blade. Okay. And we can't go anywhere. Do we have to fight Snake? I don't know. Did you check your butt, love? Damn, kid. Okay, so we can't block and attack at the same time. Okay, that was more than one or two bullets that we blocked. That was, like, most of them. Do we have to kill Snake? Can I, can I call him on the Codex? Teach yourself how to handle the blade. You're going to need it at some point. Use the right analog stick to control the blade. Move the stick up and down to swish up or down, and left and right to slice the blade horizontally. I... I know, but... Use the shotgun. <laughs> Who needs a blade when you got a shotgun, my guy? I mean, I seem to know how to use it at this point. But, like, the game's not letting me do anything except for fight Snake here. I'm so confused. Do a barrel roll. Also, oh, good. Okay, finally, something happened after I <laughs> half killed Snake. Come on. Time to go. If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. Wait up, Snake. What? It's not like they never broke the Snake, fourth wall before, but there, it's kind of overkill here. Which, what again, makes me about? feel like this sure. isn't real. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No. It was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician, either. You can say that because you're a legend. A hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Legends don't mean a whole lot. I was just a name to exploit, just like you. People will remember only the good part, the right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder, not ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future? You can stop being part of a mistake, starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? I think you gotta figure that out for yourself, my guy. Find something to believe in, and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. Come on. Snake, Raiden. Otacon, you all right? Yeah, so are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? All right for now, but there is something. What? The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Interference? I don't know. Where is this Colonel? I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, call me on the codec. I might be able to help. The frequency is 141.12.
Okay, okay. I'll probably forget that. Hopefully it's saved. Oh, good. It's the drones, our favorite. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, what do we have? We have the SOCOM, M4, grenades. We have a little bit of everything. Ow. You don't fall behind. Can I? Okay, I got the rations equipped. That's good. Where's my sword? I kind of want to... I don't want to try out the sword. Oh, I can run while having the sword out. Let's go, dude. Ow. <laughs> Is that true, <laughs> Doors Lady? That's crazy, dude. I, I'm pretty sure you're making things up. Or Doors Man. I'm, uh, I'm fairly certain you're making things up. A solid, like, 90% sure. Um, but, like... <laughs> I don't know. There's some method out there, method actors out there that, that get a little crazy with it. So who knows? That sounds damaging. Very. The sword? Does it just knock people out? I thought it would like. I thought it would, you know, kill people, <laughs> slicing them up with a fucking sword. But apparently, no. That's not the case. Also, apparently I suck with the sword. They made him use butter spray so it didn't damage his throat. Wow, dude. That's amazing. I never would have uh, I never would have figured that out. I never would have guessed. Can we just go in here? No. Just just keep spinning. <laughs> dude, well, you know he's making shit up, right? Like <laughs> I, I hope you know he's making shit up. What, what are we supposed to be doing here? They just keep spawning. We can't seem to go through the door. Is there another... Is there another way for us to go? We can't go up. Butter spray just sounds gross. You never used butter spray growing up? It was pretty common in our house. Okay, we can't go back. We can't go up. Thanks, Snake, but honestly, I think you need it more than anything. Your health's getting pretty low, my guy. Okay, well, Snake's dead. <laughs> okay, then that is GG. So what What were we doing wrong? I'm amazed that he didn't have to stop to, like, breathe every now and then, Dorseman. That's the part that really surprises me. It seems like we do need to get to the ending, or to the end here. Because once we got down here to the end, we kind of got locked into the area. So presumably, we just have to, like, get down here and survive? Is there, is there a better way for us to, like, be doing this? <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on, dude. I'm just, I'm just shooting people forever. Thanks for the ammo, my guy. Thanks, thanks for all the ammo, dude. And a ration. Appreciate it. You just trying to keep Snake alive? Ah! Why ain't I picking up the ammo? Why ain't I shooting? <laughs> you think you have to shoot the bad guys to win this mission? Dude, I don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you for the tips, my guy. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Uh, what else do we have? AKS-74U. That looks good. Are we done? 
Hey! Okay, so it really was just a survival thing. Raiden, about this colonel of yours. I found out where he is. Where? Inside Arsenal. What? I've checked out all the possibilities, but I keep coming back to Arsenal. It isn't a relay point. It's the origin of the signal. Hmm. Dorseman for sure, the dude. The encryption protocol <laughs> uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI. The so-called GW. What the hell does this mean? I think it means you've been talking to an AI. That's impossible. The Plot twist. isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. The kernel is, in part, your own creation, cobbled together from expectations and experience. That's crazy. But it's probably the truth. The virus may be starting to affect GW, which would explain the colonel's behavior. It was all uh, an illusion? Everything I've done so far? Raiden. Snake, what's happening around here? I don't know. What I do know is that you're standing right here in front of me. Not an illusion. Flesh and blood. Huh? It's your call. You can drop this if you want. No, I can't do that. Let's go. Gotta save the world, my guy. Illusion or not, I'm still like 60% sure this whole thing is a simulation or, or right. hallucination or something. Rose. What? Rose is being held in the holds. It's a trap. Help! Rose! Raiden, get a grip. But Snake, it's a trap. Since the Colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh... Does Rose exist? Don't be weird. She's your... What if I've never really met her? What? If the Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up, then everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. You and Otacon are the ones that say the Colonel never existed. Raiden! Is this what Olga was talking about? Wait, what did Olga say? My memory is, is not great. <laughs> Did she warn us about something like this happening? Oh, God, I wish I could remember, but I can't. Okay, let's uh, let's heal some health real quick. Let that go up. I'm... My... I, I'm lost. I, <laughs> I have no idea what the hell is going on anymore, dude. Which I, I think, honestly, is kind of the point. But, holy hell. This game is twisting my brain in some weird ways. Oh, look, it's ninjas. I really want to play Metal Gear Revengeance now, which, uh, if I remember correctly, stars riding. And it's a lot more, like, action-oriented with this sword. Less about guns, I believe, from what I've seen of it. I've never actually played the game, though. Uh, shoot the gun! Oh, shit. It got switched to the SOCOM. Go to automatic weapon, please and thank you. I feel like it probably wants us to use the sword in these sections, but like... But that takes some level of skill. <laughs> Doing it this way, I can just hold a button down and shoot, and people die. Oh, wait, what? Ha oh, fishing mailed. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, oh God, it is really hard to see right now. I need another weapon, please. Okay, those are out of ammo. I, uh, uh <laughs> for a second, I thought we actually died, dude. Uh, not the trank. Wait a second, our rations aren't equipped. Oh, that was close. We almost actually got a mission failed. It's, it's really hard to see what the hell is going on. Okay, we're back. Thank you for some proper ammo, dude. They're SOCOM bullets? I don't want the SOCOM. <laughs> It'd be much easier if I had a uh, fully automatic weapon there, Snake. And we're back. <laughs> back to fish and mailed. I 
that's the mission where you catch me with the master ball, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. Can I just kick their ass? Maybe no. No, I can't. <laughs> I can try and fail miserably, though. So I'm assuming he just throws us ammo for whatever weapon we're using. But the annoying part is he wasn't throwing us ammo when we were holding the M4 or the AK. Is this? There we go. That's what we want, my guy. Sorry, Snake. Didn't mean to shoot you. Hey, we did it. Does this mean we get to catch Mew now? I'd lose my shit if the game suddenly turned into Pokemon. Oh, look, it's you again. Fortune. Unkillable lady. Long wait, Solid Snake. The root of all my sorrows. What? Two years ago, you killed my father. That was the beginning of hell for us. Everyone I love has been taken from me one by one. And no matter how hard I try, I can't follow them. An endless nightmare. The only thing we live for is to see it end. Our wait is almost over. You can't be serious about firing the nuke. Since no one can kill me, I may as well kill everyone I can. Starting you, Damn! Looks like I'm today's pick. You go on ahead. Let's help her follow them. That's the goal, man. I don't know if you know this or not, Watch but she's like super right lucky. <laughs> super lucky. Hey, five bits. Thank you so much for the five bits, Noodle. I appreciate you, love. Bullets can't get near her. I'll think of something. There's no such thing as a witch. You think you can kill me? The sword, dude. If bullets can't touch her, maybe the sword. Through, but let's get one thing clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies? Right. Get out of here. Hey, the Dorseman. Thank you so much for the one bit, my guy. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Uh, what? And another five, my dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jack, I've been watching how you. Just don't know what bits do. They're just donations. That's all they are. <laughs> it looks like you remember the way you used to kill in the old days. Or is it one of the S3 plan's proud achievements? What are you talking about? Yeah, each bit is a one penny the donation to surprise. whoever the hell you when give them to, of course. Discovered the S3 data from GW. Not a bad idea, though. Using fire to fight fire, creating the perfect assassin to retire Solid Snake's brother. S3 stands for Solid Snake Simulation. It's a development program to artificially reproduce Solid Snake, the perfect warrior. The result is a Foxhound Commando. When Foxhound no longer exists, a simulated Solid Snake shaped by VR regimen. Sound like someone you know, Jack? I'm sorry to see you reduced to one of the Patriots' puppets. But I've made use of you, and their plan too. Solid Snake's sudden appearance, your arrival. It was obvious the Patriots were among my oh. ranks. Oh, I had bless to smoke out the agent before the mission entered the final phase. You came in handy, as bait. Jack, those days during the Civil War were as real as they come. Every day was absolute, split between life and death. You ran from it. And now, you've been led back to war by something less than real. It's 
This has all suddenly gotten like no sci-fi anime AF. At least you know. There's no reason to keep you alive now. Oh. <laughs> Hi there, friends. The opponent, at least. But now you should die as the little Jackie boy I once knew. <laughs> We're not actually fighting all of these, uh, rays, are we? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I think we might just be fucked. I think there's a just a small chance that we're screwed here. Uh, <laughs> but it also seems like a really good time to take a quick break. I need to grab something to drink. I'm a thirsty boy, and I have no idea how long we're going to be stuck on this mission. Not, or mission, the boss fight. Not to mention the fact, once we finish the boss fight, there's probably going to be a handful of cutscenes that we, we end up getting stuck in. So I'm going to go grab a drink and things. I'll be back in just a couple of minutes to try and take down at least three Metal Gears single-handedly, I'm sure that's fine. What could possibly go wrong, right? We'll be right back, guys. I think I like this one better, though. I'll take a look at that in one second. <laughs> And before you accidentally fucking click accept on it. Remind me, guys, what day is good for you guys to, to have a community stream? People in the community. Noodle, I know Wait. what you're doing, but... Oh, what God, happened? My... It just disappeared. What, the deal did? Yeah. Oh, you didn't want it anyways. Thank you. I just yeah, realized I that know. the deal is like right over everything. Does anything ever pop up on the right side of the screen? Yeah, I guess so. There's really nowhere good to yeah. put Twitch chat. <laughs> Forestry grown? Hell yeah, dude. The Three Leaf Clan has been destroyed. Fuck you, Three Leaf Clan. Japan did it with a horseman, apparently. Wait, that sounds wrong. It's not what I meant. As long as it's not Monday or yes. Tuesday, that's fine. I won't be here Monday or Tuesday. Um. Charming tiles. What is this? I don't really care about that. Is there anywhere here that I'd want to build that even? No, I like all my adjacent tiles. Great work slots are kind of nice, I'll be honest, but... Let's go ahead and grab... That would take nine turns, maybe... Maybe we'll grab, uh... One of these. And then up here, you probably actually, like, need stuff. Yeah, you actually, like, need some things in the city still. You... I don't really care about this, dude. The groves? Do you have access to groves? I feel like groves, groves are kind of, Yeah, I feel like groves are kind of shit, to be honest. Uh, I don't think I have groves. Okay, let's, uh, okay, that tile literally has nothing. Let's go here. Build a mine for extra production. And then, after that, we'll have you get some crabs. I hope crabs count as, like, a source of food. Oh, that's true. You're a Valletta, okay. Let a ship. I don't really care about that. You can chill. As long as it's not Monday or Tuesday. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe we Completed. just do like. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just confused at what's going on with my game right now. 
Oh, okay. That's normal. Wednesday, we're playing Metal Gear Solid. Maybe instead of just, like, just playing that, we start a couple hours early and play a couple community games or something like that. Maybe we'll do... That's not a terrible idea. Because the only other days I have off, besides Wednesday or Thursday and Friday, that I'll actually be home. So maybe we just get it out of the way on Wednesday. Start at, like, 1 or 2 o'clock or something like that. That'll leave us four hours-ish to play, you know, like Phasmophobia, golf with your friends, some shit like that. I'll have to maybe get a hold of, like, Nate and see what time he's uh, off or if he's working that day or whatever. Because uh, I know this guy, Optijack, I know he's working on Wednesday. Like, the only day that honestly would have seemed good to do it would have been probably Sunday. But, like, <laughs> but I'm going to be gone Sunday. I'm not going to be here. So, can't do that. What time would we start anyways? Because you do have class until 12.50 your time. Uh, I don't know the difference between my time and your time <laughs> is the problem. Uh. Three You're, hours? What time is it for you right now? I think I think two hours. Is it 11 o'clock for you right now? Your mountain time? I'm an idiot, so that doesn't help a whole lot. I think that's two hours. <laughs> I think I think it's two hours as well. 11.06, yeah, okay. So two hours behind. So if I started at two my time, that would be 12 your time. Well, shit, dude. <laughs> I really don't know, man. To be to be completely honest with you. <clears throat> Miss an hour because of your Tai Chi class, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Cause I don't want to skip out on Metal Gear Solid is the thing. Because one, I'm really enjoying that game, and two, it was, you know, the voted game for us to play, the most voted game for us to play. Now, granted, like 90% of those votes were all, uh, <laughs> we're all one guy, but still. Them bitches are dead now. Excuse me? Protect. Uh, I killed some people. Can I improve anything on that forest tile? I really just want more stuff to give us food. Maybe these crabs over here. What are you working right now, though? <laughs> 145 gold for that tile? Son of a bitch. I have this one locked. I can unlock that one now. Lock the food one right there. Cause that's... Hello, hello. Sorry about that. A little bit longer than I planned on being because I uh, kind of forgot <laughs> to grab my water bottle when I went downstairs. So yeah, I had to come back up, grab the water bottle, then go down. Uh, okay. Are those called Ray Rose? Um, are they like related to Rose in some way? Oh God, oh God. Uh, how do I unequip, unequip? Unequip the gun! <laughs> Run away! Okay, 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 okay. Did that even work? I don't think the gun even worked, dude. The, the stinger missile. Oh, God. Yeah, it went down for like a second, but it didn't seem to do any damage. So, is it because of where we're shooting it? Maybe maybe we can't shoot them in the legs? I mean, they're machines. I don't suppose chaff missiles would do anything, right? <laughs> God damn it. We're so screwed, dude. I have no idea what to do. Okay. Okay, so headshots, headshots do damage. I'm guessing... Leg shots just freeze them up for a second, and then head shots hurt. Does hmm. Oh god, no, don't stop. 
Will the chaff grenades at least calm them down for a moment? <laughs> That would be nice. Just anything to get them to, like, chill so we have time to at least aim a weapon at them. Oh, God. Don't equip it. Uh, I don't know if it actually did anything. I think we just got to be super quick with it. I mean, that one in the middle seems to be really, really freaking out. And it seems like we can only shoot one stinger missile at a time. We can't really, like... We can't, like, shoot the two on the sides to freeze them up and then shoot the one in the middle or something like that. Okay, as soon as... Okay, he shoot and then run a little bit. Now go. Oh, okay, well... That more or less worked. I, I, uh, okay. Okay, as soon as the next ones land. Oh, God. We're fucked. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised we survived through that. Nice, nice. Okay. I think we're good, dude. I think we got a system down until they, like, change their their pattern <laughs> which is bound to happen sooner or later once that happens we're probably screwed uh fire and run that's all you gotta do dude you just gotta shoot shoot and go okay yep see <laughs> like i said knew this was gonna happen <laughs> god uh ow that hurt oh wait is he dead is he donezo? No, wait. He's still moving around. Why are you still moving around? Uh. Okay, there it goes. Health bar actually gone now. Nice. Oh, god damn it. Why'd you come up here? And a fourth one appeared. There's gotta be. We gotta be doing something wrong here. It does a lot more damage now. I don't know if that's just in general or if it's because they're, like, on here. Okay. Those were... Those were real close. How many of them do we actually have to take out? Because, I mean, they said something about there being, like, 24 of them or whatever. And, dude, I don't think we can survive that long. Just to, just to be honest with you. Oh, God. Stop aiming. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and we're out of rations now. Since we're out of... Oh, wait. There's another one right there. Can I get it without dying? <laughs> just... Okay. Barely. I don't know if that was actually worth it. Equip the ration. Oh my god. There's gotta be a better way to do this than what we're doing, man. I just I just wanna shoot this dude in the head, please. There's so many missiles though. What do we do with all these freaking missiles, man? Maybe now that he's closer, maybe a chaff grenade will actually do something? Probably not, but I gotta try. Why do I have the magazine equipped? No, chaff grenade. Um... It's just nothing? Okay, yeah, we're dead. Uh! <laughs> what do we do? Right, right in. Maybe, maybe we should call someone. Oh, he blocked it, that bitch. Shotgun. Actually, I don't think we have a shotgun, oddly enough.
Oh god, putting lock on. Maybe it's a mistake to like focus in on one of them. Cause like originally I was thinking if we focus on one and get rid of one, then we can, you know, have less to fight. But if they're just gonna replace them, then maybe that's not the right call. Maybe we should spread out our, our attacks, weaken all of them so they're easier to kill once they Uh, once they, like, hop up on the platform here. The only problem with that theory is if it's, like, a total damage thing that makes them hop up, or is it a, a damage to one? Sniper rifle would be second best. We do have a sniper rifle. For some reason, I don't think the sniper rifle is going to pierce their ar armor. Though I've been wrong before. It's perfectly reasonable to think I could be wrong again. Lock on, please. Oh, that was scary. That was way too close, my guy. Shoot. Come on, come on, I can get one more off. Let's go. Just don't get hit, dude. That's the real secret to it. If you don't take any damage, they can't kill you, right? Take that, that stinger to the face, my guy. I guess we should just go ahead and use a ration, because maybe if we use the rations, it'll spawn a couple rations for us. I don't know what the, uh... Ow. What the, like, prerequisite is for them to spawn. But yeah, see, now that we use them, they're here. So instead of waiting for, for us to, to die and auto-use one, it's probably handy to use some ahead of time. Uh, run. Damn it. Too slow. Get up, please. Damn, dude. I don't know if they're firing more quickly or I'm just sucking more, but... <laughs> okay. Okay. They're all weakened, which is good. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a second to run around and pick up all this ammo and crap that's on the ground here. Okay, after these next ones land, I think we're gonna focus on the one that says Rose, just because it says Rose. <laughs> and that seems very suspicious to me. Excuse me, game. I appreciate it when you don't blow up my face. Run. Uh, don't shoot it in the knee. Shoot it in the head. Let's go. And it seems like every time we get down to one, it spawns another shortly thereafter. So using the... Uh, Oh, hello. So using the rations ahead of time definitely seems like a good idea. Uh, you? Is that gonna hit? No, it didn't. Don't shoot them in the knees, dude. Headshots. Oh, ow. <laughs> I didn't hear the uh, missiles coming. <laughs> Head, please. Oh, it didn't hit. Why didn't it hit? Hey, oh, God. 
Oh, good, 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 good. Okay. You could u really use another ration, my guy. I don't know what to do. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was close. That beam really hurts. Nope. Damn it, I'm not trying to shoot this one in the foot. God, we're, we're so dead, dude. Oh, this is number one up here. Maybe we should just try to kill that one. I thought number four is the one that popped up up on the uh, up on the stage here. Oh god, dude, can we please get another ration? <laughs> oh, good dodge, good dodge. Okay, shoot, face, please. Am I good for D and D tonight? Yeah, I can play. But if we take any hits at all, we're dead, dude. Oh god. Okay. I just want to know before we die, please let me find out if this one dies is another one going to spawn? Are we going to are we going to have to fight number 5 now? Or is it just going to be the 4? It never ends. It never ends. This one's literally called Rose. Like, not even the backward S. Like, it's just... It's just Ray Rose, dude. Okay. Uh, let's try calling someone. We gotta... There's gotta be some sort of trick or something we're missing here. Otacon, you're a smart fella. What do you got for us? Right. Aim for Ray's head section with the stinger missiles. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's very helpful. Snake? No response. I mean, he is a little busy at the moment. Uh, Colonel, you're kind of crazy and in, in my head, but no response, I'm guessing. Oh. Okay. That was helpful. What about Rose? You got anything for us? Nope. No response. Uh, who was the last person? Stillman? Is Stillman still alive? Isn't Stillman dead? Could we please get a ration, dude? That's all I want in life. Some rations, man. We're dead. Son of a bitch. Hopefully the game, like, takes pity on us at some point, because we might be here for a little while. I do think spreading out the damage in the beginning was a good call. In this part. Because they did have less, uh, less health whenever they started hopping up on the on the stage here damn it that's too slow let's go I was too close for comfort, but we're fine. Everything is fine. There's our ration spawn. I'm like trying to focus so hard right now, dude. I don't know if it's really working, but like...
one are you? You're number two, aren't you? I need to I need to shoot you last a little bit. You're getting too much too much action. Get number one. Got to even them all out. <laughs> Just something's got it. There's no way we're gonna end up having to fight all 24 of them or whatever. Like something's gotta, something's gotta give. Damn it! Maybe the sword's the secret somehow. <laughs> Can we? Can we deflect missiles with our sword? Oh god. Nice. Okay, now we need to focus on two and three a bit more. Both of them are uh, falling behind in the damage category. Nice. Now two for Rose. Might as well hit him in the knee. I, I don't know if hitting them in the knee actually does anything at all other than stun them for a small second. But, I mean, we had a shot. Might as well do something with it. I don't know how I was locked on to that one and not the one in the middle, but we'll take it. Okay, and we seem to do more damage to the one in the middle than the ones on the outside, so we'll focus on the ones in the middle now. Plus, this way we can try to keep an eye on when they're, they're throwing those little missiles out. The other ones we have the audio cue for at least. The ones uh, the 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 dude in the middle throws out, we don't have any cue for, just visual. I mean, there may be like a a very quiet sound or something, but it's not something that's easy to hear. Okay, we should be able to kill you now. Grab that ration. Wait for the next one to hop up here. Let's go, dude. Bring it. Good miss. Good miss. Oh, God. Dodge. We've definitely used less rations this time than we have the other times. That's a good sign. So I'm assuming it'll only spawn so many before it, uh, before it stops spawning them for us. And that's why we randomly stopped getting rations last time. Ah, oh, what? How was that a miss? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was too early. I dodged way too early. Ration. Mm, son of a bitch. Come on, get him. Get him. You're dead, right? You should be dead. Okay. Use the ration. Oh god, not the beam. The beam is bad. <laughs> I didn't know you were getting ready to beam me. Shot. Is this number three? Which one is this? I can't even do damage to it. Damn thing blocked. Are we... Oh, man. We might be at the point where it stops spawning things for us, too. Rations. So I don't see any popping up on the ground there. Even though we are sitting at one. There we go. Might as well use the last one. There's no reason not to. And since no more seem to be spawning at the moment, uh, body armor. 
you probably should have used the body armor from the beginning to use. And then just make sure to use the uh, rations at, at good times. Uh, nice. Okay. I don't know why you don't seem to be firing at me anymore, but I'll take it. That's the most we've killed yet. Ow. Gray B010. Seriously, how many of these things are there? And they don't seem to be taking increased damage anymore. Maybe I just got lucky whenever I did like a huge chunk of damage on one of them before. How's the B model different? Is there like new attacks that we need to watch out for? Oh god. Dodge! Uh, nope. Keep running. Uh, machine gun. And fire. I really hope B01F is the last one, dude. <laughs> We're gonna struggle to make it that far, to be honest, but like... God. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Lock on, please. Damn it. Okay. Keep running. How many stingers do we have left? I hope we're not like close to running out. Okay, you're about dead. Let's go. Oh man. So oh, I did hit it. I didn't think I was gonna hit that other one, the one on the side there. Come on, die. GG, you're dead. Your turn. Please, no more spawns. <laughs> Let that be it, for God's sakes. No, there's another one, dude, seriously. There's gotta be some sort of different trick. There's no way we're just gonna sit here killing like 20 of these things with just stinger missiles. God, God roll. You're doing great. Thanks. Oh God, fuck. We're gonna die again. 100%, dude. It's not spawning any more things uh, for us. Okay. And these dudes just keep spawning. Run, run. Does, like, shooting them in the leg do something different than just freezing them for a second? I see that it, like, leaves a mark. Oh! Oh, God! Black screen! Is that it? Please! <laughs> Please tell me that's it. Holy shit. I'm literally sweating, dude. Oh, my controller fell. I sat it on the desk because I just couldn't anymore, and the vibration sent it over the edge. Rats, you got it, dude. More fight than that, Jack. Everybody stand up! Stretch it out! Oh my god. Hold on. Do I have to, like, quickly do something here? I'm keeping my controller in the hand while I stretch, cuz... So you decided to show yourself. Oh, 
Don't Fuck. do this. They'll know. I'll hold them off. Give you time to get away. What about you? That felt good. Where's Shogobo when you need him for real? I think he's closing <laughs> this is tonight. Suicide. Your nano machines, they're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, my child dies. Do you understand? The child. I oh. See. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So You're coming upstairs dead. to get the rest and of this food. I need anything. You. Do we have anything sweet to eat? Like small and comrades? sweet to eat? No, not just comrades. Family. <laughs> I don't think I we do. If we do, I'll take that though. But at least my child. I applaud your attitude. If you have a death, I'll be happy to accommodate you. Yeah, Cookie Dough's all gone. Are there any of those mini muffins left? Those might be gone too, honestly. Oh, that's no good. Olga's looking like she's in a uh, bit of a tough spot here at the moment, dude. Uh... You have to. Yeah, well. Bye-bye, <laughs> Olga. Olga. I don't know if we were supposed to be, like, attached to her or something, but I never really had the chance to get attached to her. Like, I feel bad because they stole her kid or whatever, but she literally started this game as an enemy. Like, I have candy corn too. Yeah, I kind of want something like, I don't know, baked is kind of what I'm feeling. Enjoy like a donut shit, or a muffin Jack. or something, but I don't think we have any of those. Let's pick up where we left off. Cookie dough would have been a good one too, but. What's going on? Wait, since they're like connected to me through What's some brainwave it? magic yeah. bullshit. Is it, like, working for me now? We reverse engineer this hack bullshit? One pack of muffins, October 23rd? Uh, I mean, you can bring them up. Maybe I'll consider eating them. <laughs> What have you been up to? It's too late. Arsenal's system control is going haywire. It's on an emergency ascent course. Let's go, dude. We're totally like reverse the hacking this thing somehow, aren't we? Stupid it's machines. gotta be, dude. I mean, I guess it could be like Octagon somehow or something, but nah, man. It's our fucked up brain. <laughs> chocolate chips, you can bring a little bowl up. I mean, I'm never going to say no to chocolate, but just the muffins are fine. You don't have to carry like a bunch of stuff up here. Cookies don't sound too bad. Out. Bad kitty. Wait, is she on our side all of a sudden? I turned away for a moment, came back, and fate was just sit standing there. Why? Save? I mean, yeah. Why wouldn't I save? 
Uh, this one. Yes. I'm so confused, dude. This game's confusing as hell. Are you awake Bye, yet, Noodle. Jack? Thank you. Uh, Love you too. The Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond repair. I admit that I underestimated you. We move the camera. We can't squeeze the answers out of you instead, my son. Ow! Oh God! <laughs> uh, I didn't know we were gonna have to hold our breath. Oh God! Are we dead? We're dead. Oh God! Okay. Thankfully, it's using our life. Oh, oh boy. Uh. <laughs> Was it just the once? Are we okay? Oh god, I thought we were so screwed, man. I didn't expect that to happen all of a sudden. That's not your business. Oh really? It so happens I have some business of my own to attend to. Planning to hijack Arsenal? Huh? You were going to screw me over, weren't you? Who talked? Ocelot? Not exactly. I was the one who used Ocelot to suggest the idea to you in the first place. What? I was planning to give you Arsenal to begin with. Why the uncharacteristic generosity? <laughs> I'm no philanthropist. Arsenal is far from impregnable. It needs other Metal Gears as guards, a huge payload of warheads, and full air, sea, and land support to function efficiently. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective then? A list of names of the Patriots. <gasps> oh, they were snap. planning to extend <laughs> their control to digital information flow with GW and Arsenal. That means the information they want to filter out is contained in GW. Including that list of the highest 12 members of the Patriots Wiseman's Committee. And once you knew who they were, you would cross out their names one by one. While we, with our useless arsenal, drew their fire. Very good. You were using us all along. Were you any different? But your plans hit a snag with GW destroyed, hasn't it? No, there is another way. Really? But we have our own plans to carry out. We'll take the arsenal since you don't care for it anyway. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. A nuclear strike won't stop them. It will damage their power source. The mindless masses that they control. First things first. Of course. That was what you wanted. I won't stop you. Good luck. Thanks, but I have quite enough of that. <laughs> what exactly do you find so funny? Charades usually are humorous. I wouldn't have minded watching some more of it. But we're running a little short on time. What are you talking about? Everything you've done here has been scripted. A little exercise set up by us. Exercise? The S3 plan was conceived as a means to reduce soldiers on par with Solid Snake. That's what I told you. But the VR training the boy was put through is not the meat of the project. You think this little terrorist incident is your own doing, Solidus? This is the S3 training kernel. An orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. What? Ames and the President's deaths. A ninja. A computer virus that mimics Fox Die. Did you really think they were all a coincidence? 
Ain's own nanomachines were used to shut down his pacemaker. I arranged for the appearance of the ninja as well. As for the president, although Johnson realized what was going on, he played out his allotted part. As for the computer virus, it's a digital counterpart of Fox Tie. It was also designed to eliminate every scrap of information regarding the Patriots from GW. Your plan was invalidated even before execution, Solidus. Fat Man was a different story. He's one of our own people. A sort of examiner we hired to test the boy's progress before letting him tackle the exercise proper. We had to arrange for Stillman's presence to coax the maniac into agreeing. If the boy had allowed the big shell to be destroyed, this exercise would have ended there. The project has no room for failures. What do you mean? Given the right situation, the right story, anyone can be shaped into snake. Even rookies can fight like men of experience. An instant creation of genius! And this training kernel would provide more than enough data to formulate such a program. You, Dead Cell, Olga, you're all nothing but pawns placed to create the perfect simulation. Solidus, you and the boy were selected because your relationship resembles the one between Snake and Big Boss. Fortune, you and the rest of Dead Cell stand in for the Foxhound squad that Snake took on in Shadow Moses. You're the most impressive collection of freaks outside of Foxhound. We've gone to a lot of trouble to set you up against the boy. That story about purified hydrogen bombs is just the tip of the iceberg. The project was already underway when I sunk that tanker, along with your old man two years ago. Throwing your husband in the brig was a part of it, too. You were told that the eradication of Dead Cell six months ago was an act of the Patriots. We provoked and encouraged your hatred. And you opted for vengeance, just as we planned. All orchestrated? Except for the appearance of the real Solid Snake. I wonder now who sent for you. All our misfortune was just a part of their project? Oh, damn. Wait, did he actually hit her? How could... You're no Lady Luck. You have nothing that we didn't give you. What? Okay, <laughs> she, that was she. She just kind of went down, dude. Do you know why no bullet could hit you? It wasn't magic, or some new age mumbo jumbo. Certainly wasn't your psychic talents. It was all staged by the Patriots. Staged. You were being shielded by the electromagnetic weapons technology that the Patriots developed. Your dead cell comrades loved your father and husband. We needed a pathetic wretch like you to keep them focused. You've been our puppet all along, just like Olga. No! You were hamming it up as the tragic heroine, thanks to the script that the Patriots wrote for you. Pure self-indulgence, absorbed in your own misfortune. You couldn't get enough of the drama. I could have died whenever I wanted to.
So now he's using that electromagnetic tech. or the supernatural only cutting edge technology I'm still very confused. <laughs> so the whole thing wasn't a simulation, but it kind of was at the same time. Trying to turn Raiden into into a, a new solid snake. Now that I have enough data, all I have to do is retrieve Arsenal and clean up the refuse from the exercise. Just try. Why is Solidus the only one doing anything? Like, <laughs> Fortune, you idiot, get the hell away from there. I told you, your luck's run out. Take your reward, it's all the payload Ray has. Pretty fireworks. Everybody down. What the impossible? Why is he mad? He wanted her dead, right? Like, she died. Just because your little missiles didn't work? That's why you angry?
waiting for this. It can't be. I've been inside this arm all along, waiting for the right time to awaken. You were inside Ocelot? Yes, a sleeper in the arm of a Patriot spy. It was you two years ago? Exactly. I was controlling him. Snake, it was I that leaked information about Arsenal to your partner and got you out here. What? You're the only one that can free me. After all... I'm off to bury the Patriots for good. You know where they are? How? Why do you think I chose Ocelot as my host? But before I go, I have a family matter to settle with both of you. There's room for only one snake and one big boss. So weird seeing Ocelot's like face and hearing uh his voice. Snake's brother, whatever the hell he's called. There we go, dude. Liquid. Stop this thing. Hey, Snake, you coming? <laughs> oh, shit. Sometimes I think Snake has a death wish, dude. <laughs> way he just jumped in the water after him like rough you trying to die So now what? Like, we know who the real bad guy is. But what are we gonna do about it? Like, <laughs> especially as Raiden. Wait, how did we get all the way to the mainland? Federal Hall. Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. And it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence. The dawn of a new nation here. The end of the Patriots' secret rule. Liberation of this country. This was where it was supposed to begin. This is where freedom could have been born. You want his power at any cost. Jack, it's not power I want. What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. The founding principles of this country. 
Everything that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. Jack, listen to me. We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. Life is nothing but a grace period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. I mean, I guess that's one way to look at it. Transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called les enfants terribles, cloned from our father with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? Proof of our existence, a mark of some sort. When the torch is passed on from parent to child, it extends beyond DNA. Information is imparted as well. All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an exon. That will be my legacy, my mark in history. But the Patriots would deny us even that. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all. And we will become the Sons of Liberty! Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. How's that possible? The AI was destroyed. Only GW. Who are you? To begin with, we're not what you'd call human. Over the past 200 years, a kind of consciousness formed layer by layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not unlike the way life started in the oceans four billion years ago. The White House was our primordial soup, a base of evolution. Uh, we what? formless. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Don't you it's know that like our plans world. have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? Jack, listen carefully, like it's a good spickable. boy. The mapping of the human genome was completed oh, no. early this century. As a result, the evolutionary log of the human race lay open to us. We started with genetic engineering, and in the end, we succeeded in digitizing life itself. But there are things not covered by genetic information. What do you mean? Human <laughs> memories, ideas, culture, history. Genes don't contain any record of human history. Is it something that should not be passed on? Should that information be left at the mercy of nature? We've always kept records of our lives through words, pictures, symbols, from tablets to books. But not all the information was inherited by later generations. A small percentage of the whole was selected and processed, then passed on. Not unlike genes, really. That's what history is, Jack. But in the current digitized world, trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness, never fading, always accessible. Rumors about petty issues, misinterpretation, slander. All this junk data, preserved in an unfiltered state, growing at an alarming rate. It will only slow down social progress, reduce the rate of evolution. Right. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context? The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. Billions spent on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. 
Although there are people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right to freedom, and this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths spun by different interests continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. The different cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. We're trying to stop that from happening. It's our responsibility as rulers. Just as in genetics, unnecessary information and memory must be filtered out to stimulate the evolution of the species. And you think you're qualified to decide what's necessary and not? Absolutely. Who else could wade through the sea of garbage you people produce, retrieve valuable truths, and even interpret their meaning for later generations? That's what it means to create context. I'll decide for myself what to believe and what to pass on. But is that even your own idea? Or something Snake told you? <sighs> That's the proof of your incompetence right there. You lack the qualifications to exercise free will. That's not true. I have the right. Does something like a self exist inside of you? That which you call self serves as nothing more than a mask to cover your own being. In this era of ready-made truths, self is just something used to preserve... Hey, what's up, Chocobo? What are your choices, Nate? Another possibility is that self is a concept you conveniently borrowed onto the logic that would endow you with some sense of strength. That's crap! Is it? Would you prefer that someone else tell you? All right, then. Explain it to him. Jack, you're simply the best. And you got there all by yourself. Oh, what happened? Do you feel lost? Why not try a bit of soul-searching? Don't think you'll find anything, though. Ironic that although self is something that you yourself fashion, every time something goes wrong, you turn around and place the blame on something else. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. In denial, you simply resort to looking for another, more convenient truth in order to make yourself feel better. Leaving behind in an instant the so-called truth you once embraced. Should someone like that be able to decide what is truth? Should someone like you even have the right to decide? You've done nothing but abuse your freedom. You don't deserve to be free. We're Luckily you were held over? Doesn't sound like good you luck, are. my guy. <laughs> the individual is supposed to be weak, but far from powerless. A single person has the potential to ruin the world. And the age of digitized communication has given even more power to the individual. Too much power. I'm a fan of that uh, Irish breakfast Building or English breakfast. Um, what is I think English breakfast is the one I have. That goal. All That's what I would recommend personally, with. but I guess it's what you're now, feeling. Not a huge fan of green tea myself. Unless it's like the pre-bottled green tea with thoughts, citrus and shit added. Human behavior? Of course. Anything can be quantified nowadays. That's what this exercise was designed to prove. You fell in love with me just as you were meant to, after all. Isn't that right, Jack? Ocelot was not told the whole truth, to say the least. We rule an entire nation. Of what interest would a single soldier, no matter how able, be to Nothing us? against people that the like it. I just, not, not for me. Stand for solid <laughs> snake simulation. What it does stand for is selection for societal sanity. So... The S3 is a system for controlling a consciousness will and consciousness. just organically grew from nothing? I'm S3 very confused. <laughs> a soldier trained in the image of Solid Snake. 
It is a method, a protocol that created the circumstance that made you what you are. So you see, we're the S3, not you. What you experienced was the final test of its effectiveness. That's crazy! You heard what President Johnson said. The Arsenal's GW system is the key to their supremacy. The objective of this exercise was to establish such a method. Oh, you just got it because of Uncle Eurel. Fair, fair. Moses as a paradigm for the exercise. I wonder if you would have preferred a fantasy setting. <laughs> we chose that backdrop because of its extreme circumstances. It was an optimal test for S3's crisis management capacity. If the model could trigger, control, and solve this, it would be ready for any contingency. And now, we have our proof. Raiden, there are also reasons behind your selection. Solidus raised plenty of other child soldiers. Do you know why we chose you over them? Hmm. It was because you were the only one who refused to acknowledge the past. All the others remember what they were and pay for it daily. But you turn your back on everything you don't like. You do whatever you like, see only the things you like, and for yourself alone. Yes. Rose can attest to that. You refused to see me for what I was. I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. You pretended to be understanding, to be a gentleman. You never made a conscious attempt to reach out to me. The only time you did was when I gave you no choice but to do so. I was just trying not to. What? Trying not to hurt me? Dear, the one you were trying not to hurt was yourself. Avoiding the truth under the guise of kindness is all that you did. It occurred to you to do nothing but look out for yourself. Even if you claim that it was for my sake, that feeling was nowhere to be seen. In the end, everything was for your sake. I was never part of the picture. <laughs> exactly right. So you see, you're a perfect representative of the masses we need to protect. This is why we chose you. You accepted the fiction we provided obeyed our orders and did everything you were told to the exercise is a resounding success didn't i tell you that gw was still incomplete but not anymore thanks to you your persona experiences trials whose voice was that are nothing but that was products. the real objective Otacon's was sister wasn't it generate and manipulate them it's taken a lot of time and money but it was well worth it considering the results I think that's enough talk. It's time for the final exercise. Raiden, take Solidus down. Think again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh, really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The termination of vital signals from your nanomachines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death of Rose. She's wired the same way. Rose. Does she actually exist? Of course I do, Jack. You have to believe me. Damn! <laughs> it will be a fight to the death. I love Solidus how they capitalize, capitalize lie in there. We will collect the necessary data from this But right, You can't fight. believe anything they're then telling you. Just do whatever the hell you want. Closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to believe Jack. anymore, dude. I'm so My lost, son. confused. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped yeah, by yeah, a that's dark right. and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents. <laughs> I 
<laughs> why is... <laughs> ah, <laughs> why would you just devil? say that, dude? I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop, your own double helix. It's time we were both free. Wait, when did I get handcuffed? <laughs> I have other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. God damn, okay. And I'm assuming that's the only weapon we have yet. Do we have any stuff? Not really. <laughs> Can we pick anything up? Are there like rations hanging around here or something? One. How do we... How do we take him down without killing him with what we have? Is it possible? Okay, so the block doesn't really seem to work all that well. It might, like, lessen the damage, maybe, but definitely doesn't negate it. I'm just trying to figure out like how to actually hurt him right now because our first attack did some stuff but since then none of the other ones have really done anything so what are we doing wrong you can flip the to the doll side of the blade oh Oh, shit. Okay. I did not know about that. Okay, we still have to figure out how to actually do damage to him. <laughs> like... It doesn't look like he's blocking, but uh, I guess it kind of looked like it there. Is it the type of attack we're doing? There we go. Okay. So yeah, we just gotta we just gotta get past his defending. What's wrong with you? Oh shit. What's wrong with you? There we go. Let's go. Okay. Three hits, he goes down. He did not touch us. That's Is bullshit. That oh, there we go, dude. Get him in the back. <laughs> God, I suck with the swords, dude. I, I like I can't get I can't aim it. I suck at, at aiming this thing. Ow. It 
it's like anytime we use this, like we slowly turn away. Oh, okay. It's the oxygen thing. Why are we turning every time we swing the freaking thing? Do I have to like sneak behind him? It probably, if we can get behind him, it would probably work better than trying to break through his, his guard. Like stun him for a moment and then, nope. What about circle? Can we just punch him? <laughs> Will that work maybe? No, no. He blocks that too. What's wrong with you? Damn it, dude. I hit him. There we go. There's one. And I'm on fire. <laughs> Is it possible to get the fire out? Uh... Oh god, oh god, keep <laughs> let me up, I'm so fucked. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna have to redo this fight, dude, we're screwed. <laughs> yeah, GG. <laughs> That's fine, we had to take a short break anyways, the timer's running up, that cutscene ate through a lot of our time, dude. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back in just a couple of minutes, hopefully, taking down Solidus. It might take a couple tries, dude. This one seems a bit hard. <laughs> Anyways, BRB, guys. This is the next best one, but... But I'm not going to lock it, because we'll probably get a better one. I'm going to check out this tile. If it ends up being shit, then we'll just get some crabs over here. Get them crabs, you know what I mean? Oh, my builder can still move. Uh, just stay put for a moment. What I actually want you to do is come here. And you're gonna go there. At least you'll get some decent food tiles. We might have to, like, rush up here to the grasslands. I'm guessing... That one's going to have to be Chocobo, I guess. Whenever we settle him down. How you doing, Hojo? You want to be friends? I've been having a bit of a housing problem. Really? I haven't had too many housing aqueducts, problems in a little while. But... Even though the aqueducts are pretty powerful if you're not near uh, salt water. Mm -hmm. But I've been having to build them at a lesser lesser you get less housing if you have access to salt water already because you had to build something yeah because i have to get, nothing yeah. else that would provide housing that's shitty dude time okay. deal that's plus two production plus two production is pretty good but especially on that tile how badly do we need food <laughs> we have top plus two food right now yeah, fuck it. Get that up and going, dude. That's a good one. Now, did you rearrange your citizens properly? You did. Let's lock that one in place now, too. We're definitely going to have to get some shit here for food, though, which I think the water mill helps with food, if I remember correctly. Yeah, bonus resources improved by farms gain plus one. Oh, but we don't have any bonus resources that get food. <laughs> shit. Uh. <laughs> Maybe? Nope, because you don't actually build a farm on the crabs. So that won't get a bonus either. We need, like, the ability to build a farm just on flat land is what we need. Why can't I? Why can't I just build a farm in the middle of this fucking snowfield, dude? Uh, oh, it's my Why turn already? build a farm in the middle of a snowfield? Yeah. It's not like I'm fucking doing anything with it anyways. You live in, like, the tundra, don't you? Most uh, of your cities look like they're in tundra. 
Yeah, literally one of them, so. <laughs> yeah, Ruman down there. Psycho's Ooh. bordering it. Mr. Noodle's bordering it. Hmm. You only have keeps... one nice, like, temperate city. Keeps your people strong, my guy. Unique? Ah, you, yes. I want you to come over here. And I also want you to go here. Unit needs orders. My scout. Uh, I'm just going to put you back on... Well, first, got to pet the dog. Always pet the dog. And then go back on auto explore. Uh, I completed another city state quest, apparently. I'm not even trying to. Psycho needs housing. Look at that. After I was just saying how I haven't had any housing problems in a while. Well, so much for that, I guess. I thought I told you to come over here. Oh. 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 Does that always work out that way? If so, that's pretty freaking good, my guy. What? Why would I tell you? <laughs> I don't... All right. We are back, dude. Let's try this again, shall we? Hoping for the best here. I, uh... <laughs> Uh, I think we're fucked, but there's got to be a better way of, like, breaking through his defenses and shit. Like, I'm sure there's some way to do it. I just... Consistently, that is. I'm surprised we dodged that. Is there, like, a certain attack pattern we should be watching out for or something? Like, maybe there's something he does that will cause his defenses to go down? There we go. If he doesn't, like, go back... Oh, see, like, that probably would have been a good time to try and hit him. There we go. Yeah, okay. Right after his attacks. I mean, I should have probably guessed that. That's generally, in video games, a good time to attack people. <laughs> Come on. We gotta, like, bait an attack out of him without getting hit ourselves like that. <laughs> oh, dude, go, 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 go. Get another one. Ah. We should have been able to get three on him there. Let's go. Okay. This isn't so bad now that we have an idea of what we're doing. Probably shouldn't have said that, but... Too slow? Too slow. Come on. Attack us. Attack us. I got too scared. I ran away. Let's go, dude. Okay, three quarters of the way there. Oh. Pattern change. I'd rather it didn't get interesting. We can just leave it how it was. <laughs> that was going pretty well for us. I'm guessing he's going to be more agile now that he got rid of that pack. We got a call. Is it a, a hint? A little bit of help? You have to be Solidus. This is your last duty. We're not just pawns in some simulation game, you know. Yes, you are. You're nothing but mere weapons. No different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same as the code names used by the U.S. Armed Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Your code name, Raiden 2, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it. I'm not a weapon. Oh, really? Do you know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? It was Jack. Both of you are just weapons to be used and thrown away. Just weapons to be used on the battlefield. 
just pawns in a game. That's fucking meta, dude. <laughs> that's pretty and that's pretty sick. Has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. See, the fact that they're saying all that makes me not want to defeat him, to be honest with you, but I think we would just GG if we if we didn't. Maybe by beating him uh uh ba -ba -ba -ba. Maybe defeating him without killing him will be, like, good enough to go against them. Oh, God. Get up. Get up. Get up. And run. Run. Oh, God. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> they aim to break the fifth wall now, huh? Ah, oh, damn it, dude. Damn, Solidus. Why are you so fast, bro? I missed the third hit. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Am I on fire? No, I'm fine. Well, <laughs> I'm on my ass, but I'm not on fire, at least. Damn it. Why did I dodge roll? I'm not going to make it in time. Now I'm on fire. Ow. Get up. Get up. Get up. Hit him, please. God damn it, Jack. Come on. Go, 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 go. Shit. I'm on fire again. Okay, swing. Nice. Get behind him. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we didn't kill him, though. We just knocked him out. Let's go, dude. Oh, that... That looks slightly lethal. <laughs> uh, so much for a non-lethal takedown. I can open one present? Well, thank you, love. Does that mean they're all wrapped, or do you have, like, a specific one in mind? They're all wrapped? So is it just going to be a random one? And GG's? Thank you, thank you. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Once I realized how to hit him, <laughs> it wasn't too bad. like that's not the end of Solidus, dude. We're gonna see him again sooner or later. Voting on FFX? You got it, my guy. We'll probably be rolling for that today, assuming we finish this. We probably won't start the next game, but we'll, uh, we'll roll to see what we'll do next week. Did they, like, evacuate the city or something? It's awfully empty. Or not. Really? No one quite knows who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. 
What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have. That decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own. Can't tell medicine. Snake's talking to it's Raiden or to decide. us here. <laughs> it's up to you. Don't remember if it's in the original or not, but you should check the extras, specifically a cutscene viewer. Okay, we will. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. taught me some good things too I know we've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it we all have the freedom to spread the word even me snake what about Olga's child don't worry I'll find him count on it as long as you keep yourself alive he's safe <laughs> do you know where liquid went I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up, we have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriot's identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. One thing that I'm failing to get here, so they said the Colonel was just a, in this game, was just an AI formed from our own memories or whatever, but like, they also said we've never met the Colonel, at least not in person. So were we working under the Colonel at some point? How did, how did our memories lead the AI to take on that, that image, that voice, that character, you know? Unless that was, like, implanted by the Patriots in some way or something. I don't know, man. This game has me lost. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What's wrong? Nothing. Can I ask you something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, 
dudes. <laughs> what I am, okay? <laughs> Still got the cuffs, dude. I know. Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. I think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. But genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture. <laughs> I knew fucking idiot. How did you forget that? Sorrow, joy. For real, especially after she asked so many times. Like, how would you not have just guessed that by now, at is least? That a proposal. This is for your ears only. It's a little weird having all the like live action recordings mixed in with the game. They did that in the the first one too, and I imagine that's something they probably do in the other ones. I guess how do you make graphics real more realistic than just you know having them be real? <laughs> I mean, it works. Oh shit, dude. Oh. That was a good game. Oh, hello. Oh, the game. Twelve? Holy shit. I need a number between one and twelve. Anyone have any opinions? I don't know what any of them are. I don't even know if Noodle remembers what the games are at this point. Look up Tekken 1 King's ending? Ending? What? <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Okay, will do. Number six? Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna break something. Okay. It's fine. I got this. <laughs> so number six? One, two, three... Four, five, six. We got one for six and one for eight. Looks like you're gonna have to be the tiebreaker, Noodle. Six or eight. You gotta be the tiebreaker. Six or eight. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> She's crying. She's like, I don't know. I don't know what to pick. Oh God. What? We'll We'll just flip a coin then. Holy hell. Uh, Nate, do a gamble. If you win, we'll take six. If you lose, we'll take eight. <laughs> or whoever does the first gamble. That's a 50-50 flip. It, supposedly, at least. <laughs> Noodles heading off for Nate. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, lost. Okay, eight it is. So let's see. It's a blue penguin wrapping paper. Uh, it's a PS2 game, I'm pretty sure. I think that's all the stuff that she got me for for Christmas. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's a horse. I see that much. <laughs> this is... This is gonna be... This is gonna be a good one for us to play, guys. It's, uh... Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championships. Oh boy. Published by Bethesda Softworks, a Zenimax media company. 
published by Bethesda for the PS2. Are we... Look, I actually grew up playing some, some horse games, like taking care of horses and racing them and stuff. So, like, I'm not completely against this type of game or anything like that, but I've never heard of these ones before. <laughs> Experience the most realistic horse racing simulation ever created and the only game officially licensed by the NTRA with Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championships. Thousands of horses, the ability to race your own thoroughbred, play the ponies, and even build your own stable. Breeders' Cup is the horse racing game with something for everyone. Holy shit, dude. That's gonna be... Oh god. <laughs> the big the big tagline at the back of the box here action so realistic you'll forget it's a game it's, it's gonna be great guys thank you Noodle. <laughs> so, <laughs> Merry Christmas to me <laughs> here you go so uh, I'll be getting that added to the list here soon so you guys uh, feel free to vote on uh, Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championships, if, uh, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, what were the ones I played go growing up? Gallop Racer was the name of them. Um, and yeah, similar sort of premise, just not officially licensed, I guess, but they were actually fun. I, I did enjoy those. I don't think they'd be a particularly good streaming game or anything, but they were fun. Uh, I'm gonna let the credits keep running, but I'm going to open another tab here. Tekken... <laughs> the only way to vote against the title is to, to put extra votes on a different one, I guess, right? Because then it's uh, it's more likely to not get picked. Tekken 1 King Ending. That was one of the top Google results. Why? Oh, God. Ads. Go away. Switch to... Uh, whatever. Yeah, it's done. Hold on, why are we... what's going on here? <laughs> I'm gonna restart this, and let me grab a, uh, a thing here to get it up on stream. Uh, da -da -da -da. Window capture, probably display capture. Oh god, no, not that. I mean, I guess... Yeah, no, not that. Get rid of that. That's gross. Remove. Yes, let's do window capture. Window capture. Do I already have one in here for it? I thought I did. Um, no, it must be because this is the game view. So I've never really done it on game view before. But I want to leave the, 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 the credits up. These people deserve recognition and stuff making the game. I'm fucking blind, dude. Where'd it go? Window capture, window capture, there it is. It's alphabetical order, too, like, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, miscellaneous window. Grab Tekken 1. Make it way smaller, because that's on my 4K display. Here we go, we're gonna do, like, a little little picture-in-picture -picture thing up here in the corner, I guess. There we go. Do we need audio for this? Do I need to do I do I do I need to unmute it? No? Okay. Transition. I gotta make it a little bit bigger. Transition. I mean I have audio, but I don't think you guys will be able to hear. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> are those like <laughs> Are those just like real little kids? Just <laughs> really shitty screen grabs of, of real little kids like Oh my god. <laughs> we can leave behind much more than just DNA. <laughs> That's fucking terrible, speech, dude. Music, literature and movies. What we've seen, heard, felt, 
<laughs> that was that was something. That was a thing for sure. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime, and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Damn, that kind of hits. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Snake, Kojima's good at... There? Oh, shit. It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh, about a hundred years ago. What the hell? Seriously, what? <laughs> so wait. They found the list of the, the people, right? One of them is apparently our biggest contributor or one of our biggest contributors but they all died a hundred years ago how are they one of our biggest contributors if they died a hundred years ago i'm fucking lost 14 hours that took not too bad not too bad i'm sure that means something oh you can put that code in on the website for something does that website still exist Konami Japan.com. No, no, it does not. <laughs> well, I mean, it's for sale. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, no, it's gone. What do you show me? That's cute. <laughs> Santa's favorite hoe. <laughs> Noodle just showed me a uh, a baby wearing a Christmas outfit that says Santa's favorite hoe <laughs> on the front of it. Wait, that's what they ordered? One that Okay, so apparently they ordered one that says tis the season with a picture of Santa, but when they got it it says Santa's favorite hoe with a picture of Santa. <laughs> okay then. Anyways, so no, sadly that website's down, so we can't do anything with that at this point. New item obtained? Digital camera? You can use it in the tanker episode. You can use it in the plant episode. Wait, what do we use the digital camera for? Is there a point to it? I mean, probably. Upgrades? I agree. I agree. I love stuff like that, dude. I bought my uh, brother, whenever he had his first kid, uh, a book. Uh, go the fuck to sleep. It's fantastic. The greatest children's book ever made. Um, and then what was the other one? Like wash your hairy beaver or something like that. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of them like that. Like noodle just mentioned one. Let's play with my balls or something along those lines. Like just <laughs> books made for kids that are technically innocent. But, uh, if you're an adult, don't sound so innocent. Also, everything's blue now. And, okay, so you said check and see if there's a, there's a dog tag viewer or photo album in the previous story. So I don't think the cutscene viewer is available, it seems. Oh, <laughs> cookies, cookies for the dragon. What's previous story? That uh, it's it's a an entry of the the 
the crap from the, the first game. We looked at it a little bit before, but uh, we didn't, like, go through the whole thing because there's a lot of text here. But, yeah, it just kind of explains what happened in the first game. And then, yeah, see, it just keeps going. So we kind of gave up on it. <laughs> We've read through, like, the first one, I think, and then we got to this point, and I was like, oh, okay, 129 pages. I think we'll pass on that. It's a little too much. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess that's it for Metal Gear Solid 2, dude. That was a really good game. Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for the votes on it. But let's figure out what the hell we're playing next, shall we? Let me pull up my list of games here. In the remaster, there's a cutscene viewer that allows you to swap character models. Oh, that's fun. That's neat. Okay, let me switch to the right window. That's not the right window. There it goes. Transition. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, do we have any last minute votes before we uh, roll on the next game to do? I know we got two for Final Fantasy X from Chocobo. So let me go ahead and throw those in before we roll, taking that up to 15. Uh, is there any that need added or taken out? No, we haven't done Jack 1 yet or Kingdom Hearts 1. Metal Gear Solid 3 will be enabled for the next roll after this one. So I think that's it. I think we're good. So you can have Rose and Jack sword fighting in Manhattan. <laughs> I can imagine having a lot of fun with that. Swapping out random characters all over the place for all of the cutscenes. Just set up some absolutely ridiculous scenarios. We have a total of 309 votes on games from you guys. Actually, more than that, because there are 64 on Metal Gear Solid 3, 5 on Jack 2, and 1 on God of War 2. So, <laughs> quite a few votes. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you for all of your participation here. I guess it's time for us to pick a game, shall we? As always, the first one that we roll isn't going to count. The first one's just an example to show everyone how it works. I'm going to click this pick a number button right here. In a moment, a number's going to pop up over here, and one of these games will be highlighted in gold. In this case, it would have been Mortal Kombat Deception with a roll of 207. I'm going to turn that off. I'll wait for everything to, to reset, and then we'll click it, click it again. Holy hell, I can't speak English. It could end up being any of the games. Whichever one this is is the one we are going to play. Let's see what we got, shall we? Does Donna Mana really only have one vote? I thought I had more than that. Anyways, doesn't matter. And away we go. Button is clicked. Drum roll, please. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, 156 Kingdom Hearts. Let's go, dude. I love Kingdom Hearts. I think everyone knows that I love Kingdom Hearts by now, so I am perfectly happy with that. The real thing that we need to decide here is what kind of playthrough are we going to do? Are we just going to try to play through Kingdom Hearts quickly? Are we going to try and do a level one run? Oh, man. I don't. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't think I could, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not terrible at Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I've beaten all of the secret bosses, including, like, the Sephiroth solo run and all that BS. Like, I'm not on the hardest difficulty, so I'm not, like, terrible at the game or anything. But I don't know if I'm good enough to do a level 1 run, to be honest with you. And jog my memory, can you do a level 1 run on the original game? Or would we have to boot up the, uh, the, the uh, Final Mix copy to be able to do that? Either uh, Final Mix PS2 or the, the remakes, remasters, re-releases, whatever the hell you want to call them for PS3, PS4, etc. Because I, I thought that was something that they added later, right? Not in the original one. Final Mix has no EXP. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's only a Final Mix thing, right? Because I, I don't have the Final Mix copy for the original PS2. Uh... I would like to import it one of these days, to be honest with you. I did, once upon a time, have Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix imported, but uh, I don't have that anymore. So, <laughs> 
doesn't really do me much good. But, uh, of course, nowadays it doesn't really matter that much anyways because they re-released all the final mixes on PS3, PS4, all of that junk. Oh, one other thing we need to do, though, because I will probably forget. Let's go ahead and grab Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. It has been finished. Get rid of that so I don't confuse it. That should turn gold in a moment. Excellent. And Kingdom Hearts. That is the game we're playing next. So I don't forget which one we rolled. Playing through now. Yes, let's go. If it's an option, I'm not against trying it. But I don't think I'd be able to. <laughs> Just I don't think there's any way I could do it, man. In fact... I don't even think the original had the hardest difficulty, did it? It stopped at a uh, proud mode? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to throw the game in. Hold on, let me see if I can find it real quick because it's just gonna bug me. I can't remember what options there were <laughs> whenever you like first start up a, uh, a new Kingdom Hearts run on the PS2. It's been so long since I've like properly played the PS2 copy. Give me one sec, guys. Doesn't seem advantageous to me at all, man. 